Hi, this is Veeti, co-founder of thesaunaheater.com. Today we are going to take a look at Harvia's newest invention, the Harvia Spirit Sauna Heater. The Spirit is known for the abundant steam that it creates and the long-lasting structure that Harvia has perfected for this Spirit Heater. Harvia Spirit is controlled through the external Harvia Xenio control system, which allows you to also control the sauna through an app on your phone remotely in case you have the Wi-Fi feature. Harvia Spirit is best known for its large rock capacity and it uses the olivin diabase stones to create that abundant and soft steam. Typically, if you want to get a great sauna heater, you want to get one that has large rock capacity. The original smoke sauna heaters that were originated in Finland thousands of years ago were just piles of stones and with the fire underneath them. The reason why having a large rock capacity is important has something to do with heat transfer. So how sauna heaters work is that the heating elements inside the sauna heater's cage first heat up the stones of the heater. Then the stones radiate the heat to the sauna covers and heat up the surfaces in the sauna. The most optimal and the most pleasant heat comes when you have a lot of stones that are radiating the heat towards you. Because the electric radiant heat that comes from the heating elements might not be so enjoyable. That's why having a sauna heater with large rock capacity might be worth considering. Another thing that large rock capacity accomplishes is that when you have a lot of stones, the heat from the heating elements is distributed among more stones, which makes each stone a little bit less hot and keep stone temperature around 400 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit when the sauna heater is sized optimally. The thing that the lower stone temperature achieves is that the water is able to drip down through the layers of stones and turn into softer steam. Because if you have a sauna heater like the Harvia KIP that has only very few stones, each stone will be very hot and when you throw water onto your sauna heater to create the spirit of Lölu as they market this heater, the Lölu will be just gone. The water will just turn into hot heat and disappear. So you won't get that humidity into your sauna with sauna heaters that have lower rock capacity. That's why you want to aim for heaters that have higher rock capacity in general. Harvia Spirit comes in two different configurations, both of which are wired with 240 volts one phase. So this is a sauna heater for home use. The smaller Harvia Spirit is 6kW and it's capable of powering sauna rooms through these sizes. So from this cubic feet to this cubic feet. The bigger Harvia Spirit sauna heater is 8kW and that's capable of powering sauna rooms from this cubic feet up to this cubic feet. So Harvia Xenio is an external sauna control system that will be responsible for controlling your sauna environment. Harvia Xenio is suitable with all Harvia sauna heaters that use an external control system instead of the control knobs on the bottom of the sauna heater itself. What you will get in the Xenio control package is the power unit, the temperature sensor, the control panel itself and the cable to connect the control panel to the power unit. So how the Harvia system works is that you wire from your electrical panel to the power unit and from the power unit to the sauna heater. Then you will also wire your temperature sensor to the power unit and your control panel that is placed outside of your sauna room to the power unit itself. So power unit is like the central brain of the sauna operation. The advantage of having an external control system compared to having such control knobs on the bottom of the sauna heater like we have here is that you don't need to knee down when you want to access the controls uh, to turn them on. Also, you will be able to schedule your sauna to turn on eight hours in advance and more precisely when you have an external control system compared to having control knobs on the bottom of the sauna heater itself. You will also be able to equip your Harvia Xenio control system with the Wi-Fi enabled control panel. So you will in any case have just one panel placed outside of your sauna room. But when you have the Wi-Fi add-on, you will be able to control your sauna through an app on your phone as well as from the control panel outside of the sauna room. You don't need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network to control your sauna when you have the Xenio Wi-Fi add-on 
integrated in the Oxenio control system. This means that even when you're commuting from work to home or wherever you are, you can always turn your sound on remotely as long as the sensors show that it's safe. When you have the biggest Harvia Virta sauna heater, so the 16KW or 20KW sauna heater, or in case you want to buy your two Harvia sauna heaters together, that will exceed the 16 kilowatt rating. You will additionally need a Xenio extension box in order to be able to feed enough power to your sauna heater system. But the products that require that will state very clearly that it's required for running your sauna heater system. When it comes to installing your Xenio control panel to an outdoor sauna, please keep in mind that it is recommended that the Xenio control panel's temperature doesn't go below minus 4 Fahrenheit or above 158 Fahrenheit. In case you have an outdoor sauna that is located in a very rainy and cold environment, we also have enclosures available for the Xenio control panel as well as for the power unit. When it comes to the power unit, the power unit can handle temperatures from 14 Fahrenheit up to 122 Fahrenheit. So we recommend that you make sure that the temperatures don't exceed those limits when installing your sauna heater system. And as said, we do have enclosures available in case you need to have the Xenio control panel or the power unit in an environment where these temperature ratings are exceeded. Another thing to point from the Harvia Spirit is that it has quite a thin profile, which makes it suitable for a little bit tighter spaces compared to a few of its popular competitors. Also, the safety distances of the Spirit are rather small, which makes it optimal for home saunas that don't want to accommodate too much space with the sauna heater itself and leave more space for sitting and for the benches and structures of the sauna. When you get the Harvia Spirit sauna heater for yourself, you will have the wall mounting bracket included in the package. So the installation is rather simple. Install the wall mounting brackets this many inches off the wall just by screwing it onto the wall. Then you just simply click in the Harvia Spirit onto the wall mounting bracket and away you go. Obviously electrician needs to do all the electrical work, but when it comes to installing the heater itself, you will have a wall mounting bracket that you use to get the heater secured in place into your wall. You can get the optional safety rail with your Harvia Spirit sauna heater. That will prevent you or other sauna goers from burning yourself to the hot side of the heater itself. If you want to get the Harvia Spirit sauna heater for yourself, you can visit us at www.thesaunaheater.com to find out all the specs and information you need before making your purchase. Whenever you order the Spirit heater, it ships from the Baiting Distribution Center here in Chicago and reaches your door in around two weeks after ordering. Contact us by calling 725-777-5484 and we will help you out and make sure that you get all the right stuff for your sauna project. This was Verdi from thesaunaheater.com. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.